All right, we're going to talk about how to customize the icon bar, this little bar up top here. So in case you missed it in previous videos, right, when you first log into QuickBooks, you most likely see this big old blue sucker on the side. I don't like that very much. I like looking at QuickBooks the way I'm used to looking at it from way back in the day. So I go up to View and change it to my top icon bar. The other thing that we talked about was going into your preferences and then under desktop, changing it to colored icons. I also do that frequently. Okay, so how to edit your icon bar. So I can, or customize your icon bar. So you can right click on anywhere on your icon bar and hit customize. All right. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that Intuit sticks on there. If it's information that you do not use, get rid of it. Uh, it's just an, something distracting you, right? When you're looking for something, it's something in your face. If you don't use any of these things, get rid of them. So you come in here, you highlight, and you just hit delete. Now, of course, this is not deleting anything in the system. It's just taking it off of your quick icon bar up top there. Okay, delete, 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 delete. Get rid of all this stuff. Uh, I don't use calendar. I don't use my company. Okay, getting rid of it all. Now I can come in here and add from here as well, right? So it has a whole bunch of different choices that I can add from. I don't suggest adding from this area. I'll show you an easier way to do it. But you can do that and you can choose which icon you want to use. Okay, you can edit it. So income tracker, maybe you don't recognize that term, right? Or maybe under customers, instead of customers, you want it to say customer center. So you can edit it and rename it. Okay. You can add a separator, right? So that's what this guy is right here. Add a separator in, it'll separate those to out. You can show the icons only. That's sometimes kind of difficult to understand. And then you can also say, I want to see the search box in the icon bar, which is also a preference that we went through. Okay, so that's one thing, how to customize your icon bar that way. Now, if I hit the X up top here, by the way, it will not save my changes. You have to hit OK. All right, so now I want to add something to my icon bar that I do frequently. Okay, so let's say I'm an accounts payable clerk and I frequently have to go in and look at pay bills. So what I do is I go into the screen, right? I have that screen pay are up front of what I want to add to my icon bar. And then I go up to view and I say, add this to my icon bar. Okay, pay bills. I can again choose whatever I want to choose as a label, as a picture, and then it'll be up there for me. And so when I hit escape, now I can quickly access it, pay bills, hop right in there. Okay, of course you have the pay bills on the home screen too. <laughs> All right, the other thing that's really important with um, adding things to your icon bar is if you have reports that you like to run. So I talk about it frequently. You know, maybe we have a uh, report for inventory and we have our pending builds report right in here. And I want to see the item and see the memo. I don't need the unit of measure. Oops don't need the unit of measure, but maybe I want to customize it and add some custom fields, right? If I have some custom fields set up at the um, inventory assembly level, I can add them here. So I get the report looking how I want it to look. And then I can go up to view and add this to my icon bar. Call it something different. And it's up there. So this is similar to memorized reports. Okay, right, where memorized reports go here in our memorized reports list. However, the huge difference is that multiple people can have access to memorized reports. And if multiple people have access to your reports, right, they can go in, edit the report, memorize, and replace it. So it replaces your report that you wanted with something that they wanted. When you add a report to your icon bar, this is yours your user, you're the only one who can see it. If you need to share it with other people, you can memorize it for them to see it, but you always have the default template report set up in your system, okay? Really powerful tool. 
Okay, and that's how to uh, to uh, customize your icon bar.